heavily autobiographic. I can't say that word. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with an unboxing video of eight arcs that Fierce Reads actually sent me. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is Oasis by Katia de Becerra. This is supposed to be released January 2020. This is a supernatural thriller involving a girl named Afe who had summer plans to work on her father's archaeological dig in the desert and then a sandstorm hits that wipes out their entire camp. They think that they're doomed until they find the Oasis which seems to have everything that they need, food, shelter, water, all that kind of stuff but it also hides a lot of secrets. They can't tell what is real and what are mirages, and they quickly discover that it might be very hard to leave the Oasis, and it's like the story of that. I've never read a supernatural thriller. I've read a lot of psychological thrillers, but never supernatural, so I'm definitely intrigued with this. The next book that they sent me is Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown, and it says that the tagline is the remarkable story of a teenage wizard, so I'm definitely excited. It's supposed to be released January 2020. It follows Echo Brown who is a wizard. She lives on the east side of Cleveland and that's when she transfers to a very popular white school where she discovers a mentor and at this school there are portals that open where she is able to travel between worlds and she leaves her brothers, her friends, all of those people behind that she cares about. The back of the book says that it's heavily autobiographical, infused with magical realism. It also says that it fearlessly explores the intersections of poverty, sexual violence, depression, racism, and sexism all through the arc of a transcendent coming-of-age story. So I'm intrigued. I also really like the cover, so I'm definitely excited for this one too. The next book that they sent me is Late to the Party, and this is by Kelly Quindolin. This book follows a girl named Cody who has never been kissed, and it's not just because she's gay. She just spends a lot of time with her two best friends in their basement watching Netflix, so when her two friends decide that they're going to crash a party, Cody is a little bit skeptical. Cody doesn't want to go to this party because it's for the cool kids, the straight kids, but then she finds one of the straight kids named Rory who is super popular kissing another boy in the dark and that's when an unlikely friendship forms. I think that this is going to be like a cute rom-com because it says that she meets a girl named Lydia after Rory takes her under his wing as long as she doesn't talk about the kiss, so I'm guessing it's going to be like a contemporary cute kind of thing, probably deals with like coming out, things like that. I don't know. We're gonna see when we read it. This is to be released April 2020. The next book that they sent me is If You Only Knew by Pernia Pickett. This is to be released February 2020. This book follows a boy named Corey who has just been released from jail. He wants to live a nice steady life but then his previous gang comes knocking and he agrees to vandalize the car of the prosecutor who put him away. It also follows a girl named Tessa who spends most of her time riding her motorcycle trying trying to distract herself from the crime that nobody knows she committed. Then she catches Corey vandalizing her father's car and she doesn't see a criminal, she sees a boy who needs a second chance so she convinces her father to give him that second chance. So Tessa and Corey start to spend a lot of time together, they start to realize that they're attracted to each other but secrets come to life about both of them and they have to decide if they're going to fight their demons or not. So I'm guessing another like contemporary bad boy story. I'm here for it. We'll see how we like it when we pick this one up too. Next book is The King's Questioner and this is by Nikki Katz. This is to be released January 2020 as well. This follows a boy named Callan who is a mental pickpocketer which means that he can access people's secrets through touch. This skill makes him the perfect questioner for the king and so he spends most of his days questioning prisoners of the crown. That's when Prince Cirrus falls into a coma and the king begs Callan for help and that's when he uncovers a deep secret that the prince has been hiding. Turns out the prince has a long lost sister who is the key to the destruction or survival of the kingdom. So with the help of the prince and a silver haired thief named Luna, Callan has to go and find the princess or face death by the king. And I just think that it sounds like a super cool fantasy read. I'm definitely intrigued. I don't read a lot of fantasy so when something actually catches my eye I get excited about it. So I'm excited about it. The next book that I have is the Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller and this is supposed to be released on February 2020 but I'm just gonna read like the back 
first little bit to you guys because I think it sounds really good. It says Alessandra is tired of being overlooked, but she has a plan to gain power. One, woo the Shadow King. Two, marry him. Three, kill him and take his kingdom for herself. So again, another fantasy book I think sounds really good because we love when badass females kill kings. So I'm excited. The next book that they sent me is Bent Heavens. This is by Daniel Cross and I just think that the cover looks real spooky. This one is released February 2020. Book follows Liv whose father disappeared two years ago after he claimed that aliens were coming to abduct him. Liv has accepted the fact that he is most likely dead but she still continues to go into the forest every Sunday in order to check the traps that her father laid to try to catch the aliens that he said were after him. On the day that she decides that she's going to destroy the traps because she doesn't want to go looking for her father anymore is when she she finds a creature that is definitely inhuman in one of the traps and she realizes that her father was telling the truth and nobody believed him. So her and her friend Doug, who goes along with her to check these traps, need to decide whether or not to turn the alien over to the authorities or to take matters into their own hands and it's like the story of that. So I really like the fifth wave which was Aliens, so I'm thinking that I will probably like this one. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And then the final book that they sent me was 28 Days, a novel of resistance in the Warsaw Ghetto, and it's by David Safter. This is to be released March 2020, and it talks about how a teen girl in the Warsaw Ghetto must choose between saving or taking lives. So I'm not sure if this is based on a true historical thing that happened because I've never heard of the Warsaw Ghetto, but I could also just be very naive and just not have heard of it. So, so I'm not sure if it's a historical fiction or not. I honestly have no idea, but it sounds like it could be a good time. So, all right, everybody, that was my little unboxing from Fierce Reads. Thank you so much to them for sending me these eight books. I'm super excited to get to them. Let me know down below if you guys are interested in any of these books or if you plan on reading any of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!